Hello, Burning Fit fam. This video is going to be a little bit different. I am talking to the runner who wants to strength train. They know they need it. They just, they need somewhere to get started. Like you don't know what you should do because there are so many options on the internet. Maybe you've even tried to put together your own strength routine, but it ended up being like 25 exercises, no joke. And I was going to take you over an hour and you're like, you know what? I don't have time for this. This is your solution. I'm going to give you a 20 minute strength circuit you can do at home or in the gym that is made for runners. And I'm even going to show you some variations of how to make it easier or make it harder if that's what your body needs, because it is always okay to adapt a strength exercise to what you need. You do not have to fit the exercise. So let's hop in. Let's start with some basic walking lunges. I know nothing revolutionary here, but I want you to see how my knee does not hit the ground. We are practicing control with the descent and the ascent. Now, the most important thing I want you to notice is, can you see how this looks like running? And I know forward lunges get boring, so that is why I am doing backwards lunges, because this also hits your quads and glutes in a different way. It requires greater control, and when you lift heavy, you build some serious strength here. I think every runner's favorite exercise is some kind of RDL. I've already progressed it by putting the opposite foot on the wall so both butt cheeks are involved. But now, if you need it spicier, if you want to make your RDL harder, you rotate that weight to the outer edge of your foot, just like I'm showing you here. Again, this is the other side. One foot is pressing into the wall behind me. I'm still doing an RDL, but that weight is traveling towards the outside edge of my foot. What this does is it engages both glutes, but it also gets these muscles called your hip internal rotators, which are very important. Now, this is what we think of when we say runners need to do calf raises, but I have a better and more running specific way to do them, and that is this. This is what I call a runner's lunge. It is a long lunge. It looks like you're running straight. I'm doing a little bent knee calf raise here. Now, let's progress this. Let's progress this and make it harder by either holding a weight down by your side or you can put it on top of your knee. This will add weight, add more resistance to the calf raise, but there is another way to make this harder. You can use a rolled up towel, like a hand towel, roll that up, put the first third of your foot on it, put 90% of your weight on that front leg still and do your calf raise here. This will challenge not only your calf, like your soleus and your gastroc muscles, but we're going to begin to target foot muscles and ankle muscles. Here, I've added a weight to make it even harder to add more load and resistance, but only work up to these when you're ready. If you've been around here long enough, you know I love a Bulgarian split squat, but sometimes you're just not ready to do that. So I want you to do a split squat instead. That is what this exercise is. How I get my spacing is I kneel down, maybe on both knees, I come up to one knee up. This is my spacing. I directly stand up and I come back down. The next step to make this harder is to add that little rotation that I'm showing you here. This will begin to get deeper hip muscles that will make you stronger and more fatigue resistant. Quite honestly, this is a fantastic exercise for runners. So if you never get to a Bulgarian split squat, it's really okay. But let's say that's becoming a little easy. That is a great time to progress to my favorite strength exercise for runners, the dreaded Bulgarian split squat. You can do this with body weight or without body weight. It's your choice. Then to progress it, to make it spicier, you know what's coming. You add that little rotation to it. This one is very challenging. Do not feel you need to start here. This is it from another angle, but now you can feel confident working your way up to this because you have options. And you're back running fit fam. So a couple things in order for this circuit to be very effective for you to build the exact strength you need for either race season or strength season in case it's your off season. There are two things you need to remember. You need to lift heavy and you need to lift consistently. Let's bust some myths right now. Runners do not always need higher reps. A lot of times we need higher weight. So I want you to get a little uncomfortable with these exercises. I want you to lift heavier than maybe you normally would immediately be safe. If you feel like you are unsafe and you can't complete the exercise, obviously please go drop, drop that weight down. But another thing that runners maybe fall into this trap is I need to keep switching up my strength exercises. I need to confuse my muscles. That, that, that is bull cookies.
okay? That is not real. You will actually get the best results. You will get the strongest you've ever been when you repeat a workout because as you repeat the workout, you get more comfortable with the exercises and you're able to lift heavier because your body is getting stronger. So don't be afraid if things get a little bored. Sometimes that is actually the sign you are working the plan and you are making progress. So that's what I got for you this time running fit fam. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, you know what you got to do. I need you to subscribe so we can hang out more often and until next time running fit fam, dare to train differently.